Set it up to uh, CJ. Thank you, CJ, and uh, Brett Benetti here with, at ringside with six-time world champion Kaylee Reese, who's already uh, looking forward to a sausage troll from Arnie Barbs. But uh, again, they're, they're here tonight, and they've also got... <laughs> they've they not got? only got their Don't famous sausage rolls, but they've got donuts. Oh, my gosh. They've got brownies and Stop iced it. coffee. But they've also got toasties as well. Oh, my God. So, Arnie Barb. I know. Uh, we're going to look after Arnie Barb. We're in the goods. Sure. So, uh, but, yeah, I looked at these sausage rolls. I think they're the biggest sausage rolls I've ever seen. <laughs> They're, they're there's no sausage seen. roll ever too big, no okay? Wonder, no wonder they're famous. So, uh, but again, to this action, while the boys are sealing the ring, I'm really looking forward to this one. Big, tall cruiserweights uh, in action. They, they come in shape and they're, uh, they're keen to put on a show as well. So uh, again, uh, our Vincent Victoria, Victoria in the, in the blue. And, uh, and obviously with uh, five fights on his record, he's, uh, he's looking forward to having a good performance tonight. Jordan Mattai in the red with uh, two fights to, to his name. So, um, again, he, he likes watching a bit of uh, UFC, but loves his Muay Thai. That's the reason why he's here tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, looking forward to seeing what he brings to the table, Caleb. I'm wondering if uh, if Vincent has a similar style to Michael. Michael was pretty unorthodox with his hands, had really good long reach, um, good boxing. So let's see if uh, his brother, I'm, I'm gathering it's his brother. Well, I'm, I'm Favourite sure fighter, Michael. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> see if he uh, has similar, his a similar style. Fighter. But, uh, but yeah, you mentioned that, uh, that, that Michael likes using the hands, but, uh, but the favourite Muay Thai weapon of Vincent is his long, long right kick. kick. And he's got some good long legs on him by uh, the looks of things. Saying, both, both guys very tall cruiserweights. So you've got Jordan Matai likes losing, using his hands, and, uh, and Vincent Wittora, who likes using that long, long right kick. So I like fights like this where one fighter, likes, fights. one fighter likes something and the other fighter likes another thing. And I saw, again, obviously I saw these guys at the weigh-in tonight, uh, last night at the, uh, the Pagoda Resort, and, uh, and I looked at it and I thought, geez, these are two big, you know, tall cruiserweights. So uh, Taylor Tate is very interesting. And uh, you know, both very tall. Again, uh, Victoria, Victoria, do, Victoria does have the height advantage uh, by about 13 centimetres. So let's see if he can use that tonight to his advantage. I don't want to know what nationality these boys are, but usually that Islander style, they really come out hard too. They have that those hard heads, they love to punch on, so it uh, should be an interesting fight, that's for sure. That's why, when I, again, when I saw him at the plane, I was thinking, wow, I'm looking forward to this yeah. one. There's so many fights in this card that I'm looking forward to, but th this one stood out by just by their face-off. Uh, they, they look like they mean business. Dean Woodham's our referee for this one, a long time uh, custodian in the in the sport of, uh, of of combat sports. He's been around long time. He was probably head of the longer commission. than me. He was head of the commission for a while as well, so he did miss being in the ring. He's been in the ring for the last couple of years as a referee now, and he missed it. But a very good referee as well, so he'll do a good job for us. Dean actually refereed the majority of my fights, actually. <laughs> I knew. He, I knew. You would know who he is. <laughs> a lot of, lot of our I... viewers would know who he is as well. Yeah, I can smell those donuts. <laughs> I told you, they're going to be so distracting to the fighters. I think <laughs> they're going to want to uh, finish their fights early and then go Rush out and have a sausage, sausage roll, roll donut, donut. What else toasty. have we got? Brownies, toasties. Yeah, brownies. And obviously, you know, finish off with a nice coffee. Arnie Barbs, we're coming. There's Mudsy. Does some great Muay Thai interviews, so welcome to him to the Road to Muay Thai Grand Prix, sitting at ringside. Final uh, piece of the puzzle as the, the headgear goes on. Said, really looking forward to this one. Brett Benetti here at ringside, enjoying all the action to, for the Road to Muay Thai Grand Prix, joined by 
once again by the six-time world champion, Kaylee Reese, and we're ready to go. Uh, shout out to the kids as well. <laughs> Sensational stuff. Look at that, straight away, kicks. You said they were going to come out hard, and that's you were exactly right, Kaylee. Nice jab there by uh, Victoria. Kick. Oh, well, nice movement there. Yeah, by Matai. Exchange kicks early. The faint. Oh, nice right hand by Matai. Gonna lift them up a little bit. It was borderline, but he's still could have taken it well. That was a nice was a leg nice kick. Nice solid leg kick there, yeah. Victoria, Victoria just looking for that straight right hand. He's uh, landed a couple. Looks like you might be looking for it too much, Kate. Nice jab, though. I think he went a little sort of bit weak in the legs there. It looked like it. I'd like to see Vincent use his reach a little bit better. Um, Jordan's coming in with some hands and some kicks. He's got that really good long reach on him, uh, uh, Vincent. So it'd be nice to see him, you know, throw his kicks, throw his push kicks, keep him, keep him away as he does like to use his hands a lot. He went for that elbow there. He, was, uh, he, uh, he knows it's hurt him before, yeah. Yeah, I think he's going back to that. Oh, nice knee. He's following up nicely as they come right in front of our commentary position. Another nice crossing elbow there. That was a very entertaining first round. As you, you, you said they're going to come out hard and you caught it. <laughs> dead on. It's got a little bit of a blood nose there, uh, Jordan, yeah, in the was corner. Not that, that exchange yeah, you can see about. that's uh, bleeding a little bit there. Yeah. Gavin Fuller in uh, the corner for Victoria. Gavin's Thai boxing gym. And a big, big thanks to uh, Gavin Fuller and also uh, Vic Fuller as well. Big part of the Muay Thai Grand Prix, putting on a fantastic event once again. Along with Darius Gouch, who will join us uh, at some stages throughout the night for uh, for a bit of commentary. But he's also, he's the only fight he's refereeing, refereeing tonight is the main event. He's a jack of all trades tonight, isn't he, Darius? Well, I, I, I'm sure that because they're big heavyweights, like, oh, I'll take the I'll yeah, take, I'll take the big ones. Yeah. Well, speaking of Abby Nelson... We don't want to have like, David Truong in there. He's 50 she, kilos. She, 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 Abby Nelson was glad she was, he was doing it as well. It's like, oh, they're big heavyweights. You know, they're hard to separate. Here we go. Round two. Very entertaining Round start for this one. Been a great night so far. The road to Muay Thai Grand Prix. Go. Round two. Scheduled for three two-minute rounds, reminding our viewers. Trust you enjoy our coverage here early on. With our prelim portion of the card. Got a fantastic main card coming up with you for you soon. It is a style of fight, fighters, isn't it, Kaylee? Yeah, you can just see then when Jordan skips forward, that's when Vincent should be throwing something straight away. So Almost like counter-firing. As soon as Jordan moves forward, using those push kicks or those round kicks to keep him away with those hands. Obviously, the cardio is pretty good on both fighters as well. They don't, haven't seemed to have slowed down at all. Oh, nice crossing elbow there. Straight, same, same area straight well. to the side of the head guard. Same area of the ring as what happened in the first round. Yep. Got some power behind him. You can see there where uh, Jordan comes forward and he's using that right kick, which just keeps him keeps him at bay. It keeps him not being able to come in with his hands. He's got really nice long punches, isn't he? Beautiful yeah, it is left kick to the body. Yeah, the left kick is, is used a few times tonight. But obviously that weapon that he used in the first round with yeah. the elbow was really nice. He's got a great top lock on there. Looking for that elbow again. That padding wasn't on there. The fight probably would have been over. Yeah, it would have been cut. Oh, 
closing stages of round two and of another entertaining fight. Credit to our matchmakers. Wow. Great round. There you go, taking on Mandy Hopper. Looking forward to that one to kick off our main card of the evening. But we have plenty more action coming up our prelim portion of the card and we're off to a fantastic start so far so I think the uh, the fight between Bryony and Mandy is probably the one I'm looking forward to the most um, I love Bryony's style um, she's a great up and come out Mandy she is fast she's had a couple of years out of the ring but man that girl can she's got some speed behind her yeah, it's a great way to kick off the main main card and here we go the third and final round this is Vincent Victoria in the blue taking on Gordon Matai in the red been entertaining fight so far. Let's see who wants it more and brings it home. Crowd very excited here. The beautiful Curtin Stadium in Perth, Western Australia. You can see now that Vincent's found his range. He's actually feeling a lot more comfortable fighting from where he is. I think in the first round, Jordan was quite close, landing some body shots. Vincent was a little bit maybe confused on how to actually um, counter that, but you can see now that he's found his range and he's landing some good shots. He seems the one that has probably settled the most yeah, he's out settled of the, the two most, fighters. Yeah. Oh, that was nice by Jordan Matai though, but good movement there by Victoria. Nice movement by both fighters. They're both keeping their distance so far in the third and final round. They pretty, that pretty much that way in the whole fight, this one. It hasn't been too much pushing. They're just both trying to find and use some of their weapons. You can just see them trying to figure out how to actually use what they want to use. It's almost like you can see their brains ticking over. And when you say it's settled, it's like it's probably use of the weapons from Victoria is probably coming through. Marked up as uh, Jordan Matai. He's copped a few shots. A couple of really good straight knees down the centre there. Another one. And the elbow to follow up. Elbow. Good CJ, final 30 seconds of this one. They're going to ramp it up as the crowd is really spurring them on. Nice check there by Victoria. Final closing stages. Been a very entertaining battle this one. Did not disappoint God, got, whatsoever. Oh, he had him in a really good position there. He sort of wasted the opportunity. Sort of wasted the opportunity a little bit. He had a really good top lock on there. Could have landed some really hard straight knees to the head. Was looking for the sweep. Probably could have landed about three straight knees to the head instead. What I find amazing about that, we've seen that two fights in a row where they had the opportunity to finish off with an exclamation point and oh well, I've done enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's like both that was the winner of the last fight as well, but. Maybe with Tora said, I've done enough in this fight to win, but hey, you never leave it <laughs> even in the hands of the judges That's without right. any doubt. I think sometimes too, they look for the sweep too much instead of actually being busy in the clinch. They could have landed five or six knees, where in, instead they're looking for a sweep and they're missing the opportunity. He is confident. He's confident, with, with, and rightly so. I mean, again, I was really impressed with both guys this end fight. They were both trying to find use of their weapons, and... Um, you know, when we said about uh, Victoria, you know, using his, his kick, you know, we probably saw the left kick probably more than the right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I found interesting. He had a favourite kick for the right. Didn't see but it so much. We, we saw it more on the left, so I was thinking, geez, looking forward to seeing him use his favourite kick <laughs> maybe in the future. Maybe you saved Maybe you got his left and right mixed up. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hey, no, I'll, I'll find it's not the question. So, uh, <laughs> he, he said it. I'm sure I didn't write it down wrong. <laughs> Went to CJ. He's got the core, uh, yeah, the scorecards, but waiting for the fighters to come to center ring. But again, it was a grueling fight. They worked very hard. That's what I like about this fight the most. They worked, both worked really hard. That's right. Let's set it up to CJ. Let's find out who won this one. Come on! 